Today I'm going to give my hands-on impression of Samsung's Galaxy Sate. This is easily one of the phones of this year. One of the first things I noticed about this phone is that it's really, really thin. It's only about one inch thick, which is really, which is really impressive for a phone. Another first impression is that the screen is huge. I don't know how they fit so much screen in such a little body. You can still comfortably use it with one hand. There's a fingerprint scanner on the back so they can find the killer. And the phone is really, really fast. Try as I might, I could not get it to lag. Oh, that was me laughing at a very offensive meme. Now the Galaxy Sate passed both my drop test and my taste test. You're gonna wanna put it in your mouth, do it. During Samsung's unboxing event, they said that, quote, this is the phone that God would use. And while I think that's a bit much, I don't disagree. The larger S8 Plus has a battery life of 3,500 milliamps or around seven faps a charge, I believe. The phone does come with a stylus, but you do have to charge it every night. The camera's got a little upgrade too. There's a 12 megapixel camera on the back, an eight megapixel camera on the front, a two megapixel camera on the left side, and a Game Boy camera on the right side. And on the bottom of the phone, you can clearly see they have four headphone jacks now as an obvious middle finger to Apple. Very brave. The S8 will come with four gigs of RAM, 64 gigs of storage, two wrist straps, a rumble pack, and Call of Duty Remastered. One major change that does bother me a little bit is that they've done away with the physical home button and they've replaced it with an invisible home button with haptic feedback. See, this is why I voted for Hillary. She never would have let this happen. But of course, Donald, not my president Trump, let it slide. Overall, I'm very excited for the state. I would give it uh, four explosions. Tell me pretty lies, look me in the face. Tell me that you love me. 